All right, welcome back. So kind of a little bit of a different type of video. So um, I think kind of what we need to do is something to the effect of kind of how we shop for flashlights. <laughs> so um, basically I am hooked up here to my iPad. It is kind of my end all be all for everything that I do. I do my shopping, my editing. I do everything from my iPad. So what we're going to do is just kind of take a look at how we shop around for flashlights. Um, we've done a lot of these Flashaholics Anonymous episodes, and um, I've gone over some of the basics. Um, and I think something that's kind of cool, something I enjoy watching is when people are jumping around from like different uh, website to website, looking at flashlights, knives, bags, you know, whatever they're doing. They're looking at new releases, they're comparing prices, they're looking at... Um, just things that are available in general, and then mm, kind of giving feedback, but not not necessarily. Um, I think it's kind of cool when I watch videos like that because you get to shop, but it's like you're shopping with somebody else, and you're getting to hear kind of their opinions on things. And uh, I actually really enjoy those videos um, because you know I can sit there and look through all the new arrivals, and I can look through everything by myself. But um, whenever I'm watching somebody who's also an enthusiast that is looking at the same things I'm looking at and verbally, you know, saying verbally and saying, <laughs> but is just kind of, um, you know, saying their opinion on, you know, the prices and things, I, I think that's kind of cool. So what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to kind of do kind of what I normally do whenever I'm looking for like a new flashlight or something. I, I tend to kind of start off with the Olight store. Um, I, you know, it, a light store is one of those things where <clears throat> unless there's like a sale or something going on, I usually don't frequent a light too awfully much because they have a sale at least once a month. And, uh, that's usually the time that I buy things, but I still go on there every now and then because you just never know. You never know what, you know, you're going to find on there or what, what they're going to have. Um, so I just, I just like to stop by. That's usually my first stop. It's usually pretty quick. Um, but if anybody watches their, uh, you know, their YouTube channel, you'll know that we have these, the black lava and the baton three pro and the I three T's. And I think there was an I five T, uh, might, might be wrong. Let's see. What do we have here? Um, I don't know if anybody else's <laughs> whenever they go to the Olight store, I don't know if anybody else's computers or iPads do this, but mine do this a lot, especially whenever I'm on like a, you know, a product page. Um, so yeah, there's the I3T and the black lava, the secret for, oh man, the secret for many, I've got mine right next to me actually right now. And, uh, that's still, still by far one of my favorite flashlights, but yeah, see, it's doing this stupid thing where it just says a light and it doesn't actually show me the banner. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see what this bundle is. Obviously an I3T and a Baton 3 Pro. Um, mini red, I three E, the zombie green. I actually don't have one of those yet. Uh, pretty unfortunate, but I do need to, I do need to just get one of those eventually. I think that's pretty cool. Um, huge, huge, huge zombie nerd. Love zombies. I actually still play uh, call of duty black ops three, <laughs> but only really for the zombies. Um, ah, that black lava looks so good. Uh, I have something in the black lava. I don't, I don't really remember what it is. Um, I think it's a baton model. I can't, I can't remember what it was. Uh, so this is, this is just the baton three pro in different colorway. It doesn't look like there's anything, you know, super fancy about it. Uh, I don't think there's anything new with the secret form minis, uh, cool white, neutral white sold out of the neutral white on the red. Yeah, so that's that's all about the same. Um, yeah, like I said, I just kind of usually like to hit Olight and just make sure there's nothing new. Sometimes they do kind of like those little little ghost drops. They don't don't really announce it till it's on the website. That's kind of cool. I'm uh, I'm kind of a, kind of a fan. Hold on, let's look at it real quick before we go to a different site. Warrior Mini Two, Mini Two is so good. The Mini Two is just it's it's so it's so good it's such a good light um i have a mini in copper it's great uh 18650 customized battery <laughs> customized battery means proprietary mm -mm -mm. i wish they would i wish they would get off of that 
Uh, I love Olight. I really, really do. I love Olight, but I wish I wish the uh, proprietary batteries was a thing of the past. Um, Marauder Mini, two hundred bucks. This is on my list. I'm waiting for a good sale on those. A, a really, really good sale. Been saving up my Olight points. Javelot Mini. Um, Javelot Mini is really, really good. I've got an orange one. Metal. I've been looking at that. Uh, I I like the O knives. I have I have probably four or five of them. I would uh, I would I would say they're a good um, I would say they're a good value. Most of them are OEM by Kaiser, so around ninety bucks for a Kaiser. It's really kind of the way I look at it. It's really not bad. It's not a bad deal. Most of the O knives that I've gotten are pretty pretty drop shut. Uh, yeah, there's nothing crazy going on right now. Um, I'm sure they'll have a sale this this month. So, uh, well, there you go. Free i3e. If you don't have an i3e, they are a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. So, um, a couple of places I usually, I really like to check is I like to go to Countycom. Uh, uh, all right. Let's see here. So, um, lights. Here we go. Actually, we'll just go to all lights and we'll just kind of see what we got. Ooh, the Rev3 copper. I love checking County Com because County Com is always, always has copper lights. And I, you know what? You know what's funny is I always check County Com because they always have copper lights, but I don't have any of their flashlights. So Maritac, um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Maritac is a county com brand or at least they do a lot of collaborations with county com oh man look at all the glow in the dark stuff i really like these little tritium tubes the little uh, glass like glass vials with a tritium vial on the inside um oh man hold on hold on hold on so this is the full-size ray light pineapple uh 14500 so this is the um the double a model I have the copper variant, uh, and these little chargers it comes with, I have two of those. So I ordered my pineapple and my pineapple mini from County Com, and both of them came with those chargers. They're actually sitting on the desk right next to me. These are so good. Um, man, they're so good. Uh, Initia 219. Yeah, so this is, um, this is just going to be a standard Raylight pineapple and that stonewashed titanium. Uh, there's all your, there's all your, uh, all your settings. Man, my chest, my chest feels really heavy today. Sorry for the, the heavy breathing. I know it's, you know, I'm just kind of like, but I don't know. I'm having a hard time, like catching my breath here lately. I don't know what's going on. Probably dying. No biggie. Ray light, triple A. So this is the pineapple mini so oh man look how pretty that is <laughs> oh god ray light lights are so nice i'm such a fan i love ray light uh it's a cool story too um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bore you with the with the ray light with the ray light story because i've already i've done it a couple times on uh on other videos but ray light is really cool um, the owner's just always been a, a flashaholic his name's ray so ray light <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? But yeah, definitely, definitely an awesome brand. Um, just making sure I didn't look over anything. ADHD is in full force today. So uh, sometimes when I talk and I'm looking at things, I'm not actually registering what I'm looking at. It's also a problem for work, <laughs> especially since I work with, you know, clients and customers. I'll be looking at somebody and they'll be talking to me. And then by the time they're done, I do not remember what they said. So let's look at the Rev Six. Seventy-five dollars to fifty. Um, so a lot of times on County Com, you'll see you'll see this where things are on sale and it looks like a really really good deal. Um, I think I um, I think what this is is more like the MSRP and then this is their price, uh, right, Chaw? Because usually their sale prices usually last until they're sold out. Um, don't you know? Don't don't take that as gospel, but that's just that's just been my experience. What is this? Is that like a lanyard loop? Eh, that might be a lanyard loop. Um, does that come with? I think this does come with the. Um, 
why am I diffuser? There we go, diffuser. Uh, comes with the diffuser Cree XPG3. I would have really liked to see an Nisha emitter in there. Glow in the dark O-ring, love that. That's probably the lanyard clip. That's what I'm thinking, lanyard loop. Uh, slightly larger keychain hook, or okay, or keychain hook, whatever, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, how come I don't see? I don't. Oh, okay. So high mode is 245 lumen. Eh, 245, not not terrible. That's just on a double A. I think. I think that's just double A. Yeah, single Duracell double A. Um, hmm, that's not bad. That's not bad. The price isn't bad. Not for not for it being copper. That's about what you'd expect from Olight with you know a double A though with a, some kind of uh, just more exotic uh, metal. Almost said steel. More exotic metal. Anodized aluminum AAA. That's the Rev Five. That's kind of cool. The red peanut. I do like red. Looks like it's got some kind of uh, maybe uh, the button lights up. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it right there. Button lights up. Oh, didn't mean to click, but at least we can see. There it is, right there. We'll go back. Oh, shoot, my bad. Let's see. Now an aircraft red. Only 250 pieces made. So that little thing is 520 lumens with a throw of a thousand feet. Jesus. 6500K. Uh, so definitely, definitely cool white. Oh, Ram 6500K. 10440. Oh, add a 10440 adapter. So it has a tube. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not a tube. Is that the tube? Can you add? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's kind of like the um, oh god, the the lumen top uh, frog. Is it the frog? I, it's kind of it's kind of like the size. It's a it's a little mini thrower, and you can buy a tube to add a a bigger battery. Um, primary modes. Peanut is incredible versatile flashlight. Don't need to feel it on your keys. I, I so I I just never understood. So this is one of those uh, leap or LEP or whatever you want to call it flashlights um, that has just an insane throw. And so so basically, if you're if you only talk Olight jargon lingo, um, it's basically a Javelot and uh, but really really tiny. And I've never understood the I guess the point like I don't know like the amount of times I've used the javelot is well I'll, I'll go ahead and be honest like twice <laughs> like like a solid twice and uh once was the unboxing and the uh the video of um you know displaying the light beam outside and then the other time was just showing it to my friends so <laughs> and by friends I mean my wife and my brother because you know, friends. <laughs> Battery is... Mm, yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I guess it could be cool because it's little and you could just keep it on like a keychain or in a bag or something. So that would that would be kind of cool. Um, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Look how bright that little bit. Jesus. Could you imagine having like an i3e at like over 500 lumens? <laughs> I mean, that's basically what that is. Oh, they have a titanium version too. Oh, that's sweet. Um, Desert Bronze P16. Okay, so I've been looking at this for a while. So actually, me and my buddy No Mercy were talking about this. Um, so this is a collab with uh, Ace Beam right here. Yeah. So uh, this thing, I would have really, really liked. We, we've looked at this. Yeah, I see this 1800 lumens off an 18650. They want 80 bucks for it. Um, and, and of course you can use sezzle. So I, I, that's something I do like County com is really, really good. So, uh, anybody, if you've never seen this website before, they're, they're good. It's, it's a good website. Uh, dual switch. This is actually where I got my titanium comb. <laughs> uh, good, great reviews. Uh, I'm looking at the photos. Uh, I almost got the screwdriver instead of the one that I got from Countycom. My little titanium screwdriver that I keep in my bag. That's a Countycom. 
Oh, man, that light looks so good. I, I just wish there were other variants. I'm not not a huge fan of, like, this desert tan color on flashlights. I really like it on, like, firearms. But not um not not necessarily flashlights. Desert bronze, sorry. Night throw. Mm, see that looks that looks like a that looks like another LEP. Mm, oh maybe not. Maybe not. What is this? Throw twelve hundred meters. Hundred and fifty three. Oh, it's running Andural. We talked about Andural, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 4,200 feet, three quarter of a mile throw, 8,600 lumens, Jesus. Yeah, but see, see, that's a big, mm, that's a really big flashlight. Uh, two 21,700s button tops. Battery's not included. (laughs) You'll get you'll get used to this if you uh, if you haven't ventured too far out of the Olight world. Uh, yeah, you'll get used to them not coming with batteries. It's a sad story, but it's it's not a big deal. Uh, moonlight mode, 0.75 lumens, 48 days, nice. 6,900 lumens on high for four hours. Dang. Okay, so 8,600 lumens. So turbo will run for 3.8 hours. Jesus. Um, so I would, to be honest, I would, well, I I was going to say, I kind of expect that because you're running two 21, seven hundreds, but even still almost four hours on turbo. Hmm. I don't know about this. Uh, and something tells me if you ran a flashlight on turbo for that long, it's going to get hot, 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 hot. Uh, also, the light will not work with standard CR123 or 18650 since the voltage needs to be at 3. Okay, yeah. So, see this stuff right here. This is the stuff that you look for. Light will become warm in turbo mode. <laughs> okay, so if you use it longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> that seems to be about the running uh, running run times on turbos. Um, titanium AAA. I've really been wanting a new titanium flashlight. A smaller one. I actually ordered a, I'll show you a light that I ordered that's on the way. Uh, the next website we're going to be going to here in just a second. Oh, these are sold out. Oh, brass ray light. Mm, sold out. Dang, man. I mean, that's one of the things I have been wanting is, uh, is another, another pineapple. Brass would be cool, but I think I'm going to go with the titanium. Uh, what's it called? The land model, the LEN model. It's got a bunch of spots for trit tubes, tritium tubes, vials, whatever you want to call them. Rev 2, that's an LEP. Yeah, see that beam? It looks like a lightsaber. That's that's the LEP stuff. That's uh it's basically a lightsaber. <laughs> it's basically a lightsaber. It's really, really long throws. Really long. This kind of looks like the um the the not not the LM10, um the FW21 Pro. The Lumen Top, it's uh, the Lumen Top's twenty one seven hundred as well. It's, I think it's ten thousand lumens though on the Lumen Top. Uh, focus beam throw twenty six hundred. Sapphire lens, nice. Scratches a whole lot less, stronger. I ordered a uh, um, sapphire lens for my LM ten from JL Hawaii. A secret moon mode. <laughs> two lumens. Hold the button down for two seconds from the opposition. Last up to three weeks. Modes are thermally regulated. That is good. 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 I love reading that. Um, you kind of learn to watch out for this, but in the infancy of getting into flashlights like this, like high-powered flashlights, semi-customs and customs, um, that that's that's important. Especially whenever you have wives and family members and people that want to play with the flashlights. <laughs> because you can tell them if it gets hot, turn it down or turn it off. But, you know, usually they're having too much fun. Uh, my wife's sister, whenever we went to go visit, I took my uh, FW21, that, that 10,000 10, lumen flashlight, 
and they were outside just turbo the whole time. And I was just like, oh man, it's going to get hot, but it did all right. It, it stepped itself down appropriately. Molly cell. I have some, I have, I, I really like Molly cells. Um, fun fact about those. I had no idea they even existed until I went into a vape shop. I was buying new batteries for my vape. And he was like, have you seen Molly cells? And I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. And then he kind of explained it to me and I was like, oh, that is not the way that I thought they worked. Let's see. Hmm. So did I, did I look right over it? I don't, I don't think I saw, I don't think I saw the lumen. Oh, I did look right over it. 3,200 lumen, 6,800. Okay. Yeah. No, 6,800. I feel like I did say that. Um, hmm. Triple A, Rev 4. I know these are all sold out, but I still like to... Oh, the Rayolite Triple Dawn. Mm, look at this thing. How much did they have this listed for? 90 bucks. I don't think it's... It's not titanium. It's, what, steel? Aluminum. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's kind of one of my one of my things. Once I start getting around the hundred dollar price point, I uh, I really like to see not aluminum. You know, unless it's like some some particular pattern. Uh, this is a little different, so um, I I don't mind the aluminum quite as much. That really does look like titanium. Um, I really don't mind seeing these might be two different models on here. That's got to be titanium. Hold on. Because this, this this top one's black, right? Yeah, so there must have been an, a titanium and an aluminum. Hmm, doesn't say though. 1500 lumens. That's pretty nice. Takes an 18350. And that's kind of a weird... Mm. Includes a glow reflector. Hmm. 6,000K. Hmm. Um, yeah, see, told you. ADHD full force today. Uh, I don't mind seeing aluminum and stuff if we've got, like, extra features on it. If we... Oh, there it is. Um... You know, like that one looked like it had plenty of spots for tritium vials. I'm almost certain that all these little slots are for trit tubes or, um, you know, if, if tritium is a little ex on the pricey side, which it is for everybody, uh, you know, Lumen Top makes the little turbo glow, which is really, really good. That's actually what I've got on my, uh, my LM10 is the Lumen Top turbo glows. So there's the peanut again. I really like these glow markers. But, so here is the Raylite that I think will be my next Raylite. So this is the LAN. And you can see here we have a bunch of spots on the back for those trit vials or um, turbo glow sticks. And then you've got one on the fire button as well. I don't think there were any in the front. I don't think, yeah, it's just in the back. Business in the front, party in the back. Oh uh, yeah, I I want this light. So let's see here: four hundred and seventy lumens, fifty-eight minutes, ninety lumens. I'd probably end up around here ninety-five percent of the time. Ninety lumens is enough for me. That's with the Nisha two nineteen C. So that's on a fourteen five hundred, and then on a standard AA battery. These are your outputs. So see, that's why we had that battery talk. You see how big of a difference that is? Switching from a AA to a 14500, you go from 130 lumens to 470 on high. And you almost keep the same run times. At least there, you know, once you go, if you look at like mid, these are literally like half, except for moonlight. But uh, on high mode, it does make a big difference. Luxurious titanium. Mmm. <laughs> Develop patina. Oh, yeah. It'll get scratched. Scratch. Uh, so forth blink. Yeah, so that's, everything's the same on the land mode. Yeah, I've looked at that a bunch of times. I really, really want one. This, this is the one that I bought. 
That's my uh, my pineapple right there. Mm, relay press. Okay, we won't we won't keep looking. I do this. I look at things that are sold out because you never know if they're going to come back in stock. Oh, I didn't know they even did that. That's cool. Just a different um, different colorway for that P16, the Ace Beam collab. Hmm. All right. So another place I like to frequent right here and he's still running his father's day sale. Oh no, he's not in 618. <laughs> this, this website right here, man, I'm telling you, this guy is awesome. Go away. MSR, good old Hank lights. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of, just kind of click through for a second. A lot of these are sold out. So we're just going to see if we can filter by. Mm. Oh, wait, here we go. Availability in stock. Ooh, 60. Nice. So, oh man. Yeah, see, his lights are so nice. Oh man. He sells parts too. And now we're kind of getting into the custom world. You can, you know, the, the thing I like about this website so much though, and, uh, Jackson Lee, that's what, you know, JL Hawaii, um, Jackson, if you order a flashlight, so like if we were to, oh, I don't know, I don't know a ton about MSR. Um, this is, this is still new. MSR is new territory for me. So like, I'm going to bet if I click on one of these, yeah, here we go. So. You can pick your the body, the color, and then the emitter, D-domed, you know, the, the temperature. Yeah, this is, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's why I like this website so much. kind of gives you the option to customize and play around without having to know how to do it yourself. I actually didn't even know about this website. Uh, no mercy again. <laughs> Which is another guy I met from from the channel. He, uh, he introduced me to this website. I am a fan. Titanium and copper. Mm. Stonewash. Raw. I'm such a fan of raw titanium. I love the shiny. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. Uh, so, yeah. MSR is MSR is nice stuff. So is Noctagon. Noctagon's got probably, eh, probably a little bit more known... At least, at least the way, you know, I knew about Noctagon before I knew about MSR. Um, and that was back when I was like, you know, first learning. Noctagon DM11. Mm, that's a thrower. What do we got? KR1. Oh, these are nice. KR4. All the different sizes. Yeah, so you can pick your color temp. Spot for a tritium tube. Nice. Oh, there's a bunch of spots. I like that. I like the I like I like the copper. I think the copper is cool. It looks like a diffuser, like a um, like a heat sink. That's right where your like emitter and stuff is. That's probably the intended purpose, to be honest. I think copper is a relatively good heat diffuser. Absorbs it. Octagon. Like I was saying, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go super crazy into looking through every single page of each one of these. Um, that's why I usually just filter the in stock on his website. He gets a lot of so JL Hawaii. He gets a lot of stuff like in and out. Um, he'll get more shipments and then he'll be able to sell. You know, it'll come back on on the website. Um, he also runs like three different shops. Like he's got a eBay shop as well. I know of, um, I can't remember what the other one is right off the top of my head. I, I'm pretty sure there's three. Oh. Mm. Well, <laughs> 
Um, yeah. So I. Mm. Yeah, me being quiet is me th <laughs> is me thinking. Uh, after this video is over, I'm probably going to come back and buy this. I didn't even know he had this. So here is the Raylite, the LAN that I was saying that I wanted. I, th I thought I wanted it in titanium because I thought that's all it came in. I did not even realize there was a copper model. Oh, man. Nisha 219. So, or that's the 519. Right? Yeah, 519A. No details on it. These are for the 219. Such a big difference. You see this? Going from like the Nisha 219, 470, and then you go to like the Cree XPL, and then it's 800 lumens. The the Nisha emitters, though, man, I'm telling you, they may not be... You can get them in like the warmer temperatures. They may not be as bright as like the Crees and, you know, the other the other types of emitters. But Nishas just have such beautiful beams. Nisha, Nichio, everybody says it kind of different. But uh, as I've as I've become more into flashlights, I really really like the Nisha emitters. It's probably my favorite, and I will probably do this light somewhere in this range, four thousand to forty five hundred. Um, I'll probably lean closer to the four thousand, just since it's a copper variant. I'd probably go forty five hundred or maybe even five k. If it was titanium. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and buy that. Um, that's that's sick. This is sick too. Titanium blurper. So this is a, this is a cool blurple variant. The Anno. Doesn't say. I'm sure. It's, well, is that Anno? Surely that's anodized, right? Can't be painted. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I'm definitely not any kind of expert or any kind of authority on anodizing and all that stuff. I have no idea. I've always been interested on how to do it. Raylight Pineapple Mini. So these little titanium washers are cool. Um, that's what you would buy if you wanted to get rid of the pocket clip. Because if you look, um, I can't move my mouse over it, but uh, if you look between those two on this photo, see how it's got the, uh, it's got a ring that actually goes underneath the tail cap. It's not like, um, not like Olight where it just snaps into place. Well tool, I don't have any well tools. Uh, I haven't, I haven't really, haven't really seen anything I had to have yet from them. Um... More of like work lights, like tactical or work lights is kind of what they, the vibe they give me. Yeah, metal lancer, weapon lights. They look, they look nice. They look nice. Just not what I would EDC. Not me. Mm, that's a sick light. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do our thing. It's dark. Do, do the thing. That's cool. That looks like a super old school flashlight. Kind of. A little bit modernized. I dig it. That, that looked dope. Look at that. That looks dope. That's super cool. I've always been curious about this. And 165, man, that ain't, that ain't bad. But 21,000 lumens off a 21,700 battery? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Does it take like five of them? <laughs> no, it takes three of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it takes three of them. Picture shown with glow in the dark glow tubes at an additional cost price. Yeah. See, that's what's so cool about this. Oh, yeah. See, look at that thing. Look at that thing. I bet people have seen this. This right here flying over California. Yep. That's what that looks like. That looks like a UFO. Uh, aluminum. Enduro clicky mm, 21700 that's crazy it runs on three of those uh max beam distance 87 or excuse me 871 meters 190,000 mm, it's interesting 
It is interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. This is kind of cool. I've been, I've been kind of, oh, look, it's got a little handle. <laughs> handles, okay, handle is optional. I was like, I didn't see that in this. It's kind of goofy with a handle. And it's actually a lot smaller than it looks in these photos. Um, that I'm actually happy about. This is a lot like the Marauder Mini. Look at that. It looks crazy. So these uh, these tritium tubes, these look these are more than likely some kind of turbo glow, some kind of just glow tubes. Um, so these these tubes, all you do with these is you get some UV resin, or you can use like epoxy. But I just ordered a thing of UV resin, and uh, really all you do is just put a little bit over the top of the tube after you put it in the slot, and then you hit it with a UV light for like ten seconds, and it is done. It's cured. It's ready to go. I usually let it sit for a few, you know, I usually let it sit under UV for a couple minutes at least just to be on the safe side. And then I won't carry it for a little while. Um, by a little while, I mean like a day. I usually just kind of let it sit and do its own thing. I know you don't have to, but, uh, I just rather be safe than sorry. This thing looks crazy. <laughs> that thing's cool. Uh, mini Cree, mini Cree. This looks cool. Copper or brass. Hmm. Nothing I have to have. Lumen Top. So Lumen Top is one of my absolute favorite flashlights. If you want to talk about brand loyalty, I think Lumen Top makes some of the best lights in the game. I definitely want a Moon Box. I think the Moon Box looks so cool. Uh, I also need one of these, the FWAA. Uh, let's just look at both of these real fast. Um, Aluminum and copper, Nisha 519, those are in stock. Opta's resting on the dome, so I might have to de-dome it later. Yeah, see right here where he says he's acquired six more. So that's what I was saying. He, um, I look through his sold out every now and then because I feel like if he leaves it on the website, usually he thinks, or at least he might, might be able to get some more back in stock. Um, he's usually pretty good about that. Really nice guy. Really nice guy. He's the one who sent me my Lumintop shirt that I wear a lot. I love that shirt. My wife says she wishes it said Lumen Hop and had the bunny on it. <laughs> oh man, this moon box is so cool. I This is one of those lights where, look at that 12,000 burst output. Um, this is one of those lights where I've wanted it for a while. I just, I just, I don't, I don't know, man. 200, 200, 240. $240. It does have a display. I think it has, um, I haven't really looked a ton into it just cause I know it's at this point in time, it is more than I want to spend on what it is, you know, not, not necessarily a flashlight, but because I'd, I'd love to get my hands on, um, a DC zero and a Kluma. But, uh, this, I just, um, I don't know if the value's there, you know, but that's hard to say because I've never, I've never used one. So it could be the, you know, the best freaking flashlight in the world. I just, I don't know. It looks, it looks super cool. I love, I love Lumen Tops logo. <laughs> They're such a cool company. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Lumen Top Frog. Yeah, I was right. Aluminum. That's such a cool little light. Um, oh God, I forgot the name of his channel. Uh, one of the guys that I watch, um, he did a, he did a review on the Lumen Top Frog and it was, it was a cool, it was a cool video. The D3, 6,000 lumens, 70 bucks. That looks like a cool light. That looks like a work light. A lot of, a lot of companies are using this heat sink diffuser button housing I, I don't i don't know what that piece is actually called remember i don't i don't build them or customize them other than you know small almost like bolt-on accessories <laughs> i don't change emitters and stuff not that not i'm not there yet reflector uh, it doesn't say if it does i'm looking right over it um yeah, nothing. Lumen top. Fireflies. I love fireflies. 
it sucks that they're sold out so often. Look how cool these lights are. What, what does he have in stock? I actually have a light from, from Mr. Jackson Lee on the way. That is a Fireflies. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I actually ordered one of these. I have it on the way. I'm super excited about it. I know it's not very expensive, but I really love the aesthetic of this light. Uh, and it does kind of look like an Akluma, which is cool. But um, I just love how simple it looks. I love the knurling. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked to try it out. See how it is. Should be here this week. You'll see the video on that pretty soon. I think it comes in like Thursday. Not, not sure. Mm, yeah, not much in stock on fireflies. Uh, Ace beam. God, this thing is a monster. Mm. You haven't seen the X seventy five yet. Yeah, eighty thousand lumens. Um, Emilent. I think Emilent holds the uh, the gold standard. Holds the title for the uh, brightest flashlight in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Ace beam E seventy. I've been looking at those. Not the mini though. I would want the the full size to stay in the steel. That thing's that thing's a beefcake. Twenty one seven hundred. Um, and it's not very big either. It's like the size of the battery, just just over over a little bit, you know. Of course, got to have a body around it. Um, double clicks, fifty thousand hours on the on the LED. It's got a Cree LED. Moonlight, one lumen, eleven days. Battery life's kind of poop. Um. High, two hours. See, here's another one. Turbo, two hours and 15 minutes. Mm. I don't know. Max output, 4,000 lumens. That's not bad. Not bad. For 160 bucks, eh. I'd like to see it in, like, titanium for, you know, over 100 and anything over $100. I'd rather see anything other than stainless steel. Well, stainless steel is not as bad as, like, aluminum. At least it's not aluminum. That would have been, that would have been kind of soul-crushing. Um, there's only two things in stock and jet beam knee. Uh, so this is another brand I've been pretty curious about. Uh, the only thing that's kept me from, oops, the only thing that's kept me from actually buying anything from however you say this, Mir Su, Mir, Mir Su, um, is apparently they rip off a lot of, um, like designs. Uh, I, God, of course I can't remember the name of the, the actual flashlight. It's an American made flashlight. Um, that they pretty much copied a hundred percent. It might even be this, this design. Um, anybody who knows about this stuff is going to know what I'm talking about, but see, that's a really good price. And these things have a ton of trit tubes. Um, see all these little slots right here. Those are for tritium vials. I'm sure he's got a photo of one. No, he doesn't have one. That's all blinged out. Hmm. I love this photo though. That's it's just such a good, such a good breakdown of uh, emitter temperatures. Sorry, <laughs> I was looking at the photos. I like these little auxiliary lights. I'm a, I'm a fan of the auxiliary lights. It's programmable too, which is cool. Green, pink, orange. The orange looks cool. On that like satin or no, it's like a raw titanium. But uh, yeah, I've been looking at these for a while. Output three uh, 3500 lumens. Oh, it's got a titanium clip too. I didn't know that. I never saw that. Titanium screw rod for grinding. Wait. M wait. Screw rod for grinding. I don't know what that means. Oh look, there it is. Love that flashlight. Leap flashlights. Noise. So I think, I think if I, oh yeah, so here's one, the Lumentop Thor. Um, I think if I was going to do an actual like dedicated leap flashlight, I would want the Lum, yeah, the Ant-Man. There it is. I was about to say the Lumentop Ant-Man. This is my guy right here. Stonewash looks cool. Sandblasted. Raw. He's out of stock on all of them. Yeah, these are going to hit you for like 200 bucks. But see this right here? So 80 lumens. Um, but you get a distance of 700 meters. Look at this 122,000 candela. Um, it's so, it's a completely different type. Like it looks like a projection lens. Like see this, see, I, I, I haven't, I haven't really played around with any of the leap flashlights yet. The LEPs, 
Um, so I, I don't know a ton about them, but I think, I think whenever I pull the trigger on one, it's going to be the Thor or the Ant-Man. Direct drive, higher current. Yeah, see, continuous, police strobe, police strobe. Um, I think, I think this is just such a cool light. I really like the aesthetic of this. That's yeah, nice. Small, 14500, double A size. That's cool. This thing's a beast. Uh, we won't sit here and look at the leaps too much. Um, so that's pretty much, well, we'll check out closeout deals really, really fast. Uh, I don't want to make this video way too long. I don't even know how long we've been going. Oh, he's only got one left. Um, okay, and it's the MT35 Mini. Uh, copper brass. Me. Um, I mean, those are like, so those are pretty much like some of the main places that I check. I do like to go to, um, Blade HQ does carry flashlights. Flashlight. I don't buy a ton from them though. Uh, sometimes their prices can be a little questionable. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, Olight, Arcfeld, Rechargeable. Yeah, I see a lot of a lot of light. One thirty nine for that. Oof, oof. That's not bad. That's about what you'd expect to see. Um, got a pair in too many. Nice, seventy bucks on the i five R titanium. Hmm. I many. Oh, they have the Scarlet Warrior 3S. That's cool. I, that was the first Dark Feld I bought, was the Eternal Copper. Still got that lying around somewhere. I think it's in the safe. Um, oh, wow, they have the uh, the O pouches. These are actually sold out on the Olight website. I uh, might have to cop one of those. I uh, For whatever reason, I didn't order any of those. And I instantly regretted it when they sold out. Instantly. I'll probably have to come back for that. 17 bucks, probably like 5 bucks in shipping. It probably would have been close to the same price. Normal retail from Olight. You know, pre, pre-sale or post-sale, whatever you want to say. There's the Maritac again, Copper AA. Oh, and there's the other pouch, 9 bucks, 10 bucks. Hmm. Open glows. Baton 3 Premium, the Ocean Camo. That's cool. <laughs> they have the Snowflake still. That's funny. Uh, Old Bulb. Me. I, now, I am a fan of Old Bulbs. Our power went out not too long ago, and uh, the Old Bulb saved the day. I have a ton of flashlights, but the Old Bulb was the one we chose because it kind of is its own diffuser and just filled up the whole living room. It was really nice. Actually, my wife was really impressed with the old bulb. She wants me to pick up more of them on the next sale. So that'll be what I'm doing. Old bulb pro. Nice. 40 bucks. Yeah, so this is mostly just, you know, there's some other stuff here, but this is a lot of old light. Um, mm, nothing standing out. That, that actually kind of stands out. <laughs> ah, man, see, I really, I really like those Maritech flashlights. I just, I haven't, I haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. I don't know why. This is going to be a long episode, but I mean, realistically, most of the people that watch my videos usually don't make it past 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, if you've made it this far, this is just for you. <laughs> I pretty much just make, make longer videos just for me because I enjoy it. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, sometimes it's probably what it ends up being. People don't make it that far in the video. This looks cool. Jet Beam Jet 2 Pro. What even is this? 12 years? 12 years? Um, Jet Beam Jet Design for Camping. Cycling. One button. 500 lumens. And it runs on what? CR123? Not included. <laughs> China. I wasn't just saying China. I was reading from the bottom up. Something else weird that I do. All the good info is usually down here. Stuff I want to know. Cree. 
IPX8. Hmm. That looks interesting. Um, CR123, so it's small. It's a, it's a little light. Uh, head diameter. Where's the... Where's the actual... Oh, length. Yeah. Two and three quarter inch. Yeah, it's a little light. Mm, yeah. Nothing nothing crazy on here. Maglite makes some pretty cool lights. Not not normal Maglites. I meant those the first two on that last page. Those were pretty cool. Um Yeah, okay, I think we're I think we're past kind of the cool stuff on here. Um oh the X nine R, Jesus. That thing's a beast of a flashlight. Javelot Mini. Hmm. Baton three pro. Yeah, I'd love to have one of these. <laughs> but you know what oh man um uh that open the open two mm, i think i like having the button more than just the bolt action to turn on the uh you know the lights i've really been digging the civivi pen though phoenix all right i've only got like oops um why am i why is this not popping up spelling it wrong I don't understand why it didn't just take me there. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Oh, come on. I'm over 18. Leave me alone. It's because I'm not signed into anything. Well, I am, but just not on these websites. Um, mm, you don't... Do you have anything for brands? What brands do we have on here? Nightstick. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Hold on. I just have to see. Oh, it's a stick. Nightstick. Nightstick. Yeah, nothing nothing really there. Um, oops. Some so sometimes uh E knives. Yeah, E knives. Sometimes they have some flashlights too. E knives is pretty cool. Um, they they carry. That's every every single website have to have a delayed pop up. That is after you start doing something on the website. Um, yeah, see, E knives, man, they have some some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. Like, what even heretic not heretic makes a flashlight? Look at this. So who uh, who. There's no way they make this. Who who makes this? Creamitter, driver, Dr. Jones, body, antique, green, titanium. Who makes this? Doesn't say. I know they don't build their own flashlights. There's no way. Um, I think, I think, Her isn't Heretic, um, I don't have a lot of experience with Heretic stuff. Uh, I think that's uh, Marfion's son for Microtech. Um, I could be wrong on that. I might be getting them mixed up with somebody else. Probably the case. Um, yeah, nee. nothing really. Um, no, nope. nothing really cool on here. Warrior Mini Two, Seeker Two, Seeker Two Pro, X Pro. Not a bad price. Um. Yeah, I have a steel flame clip. Jesus. Okay, yeah, so here. Okay, so remember that Mirexu or whatever? So here is the Mech Force. Here, see? USA. So there's the real one. See, they're identical. That's the only reason why I haven't ordered the other one yet. But a lot of people say they're... Oh, man. See, a lot of people say they're really good. I just they just bite off other people's designs. It's not necessarily a clone because they don't it's got their name and stuff on it. They just kind of they just kind of took the design. Mm, I would really like one of these mech force though, the mech torch. These things look so nice. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still I'm still a little undecided if I want to drop 300 bones. But I do like USA made. I'm a big fan of USA made. Of course, <laughs> steel flame clip. 
Oh, yeah. Do you guys have any idea that clips by themselves could cost this much? Steel Flame is uh, pretty pretty known for that. They're super sick, though. Super sick. Nothing, nothing to say on here. Um, so really about the only other place I checked is I like to go to, um, carry commission occasionally. Not, I don't do it very often. He's usually only a couple things here. Um, but this is, uh, Taylor Martin kind of, you can kind of tell it's him right there, but sometimes he's got some cool stuff on here. Um, usually it's like flashlights and stuff. Uh, it's usually like the micro Arcadian. Yeah. And there it is. 500 bones. That is the only reason why I don't have one of these. Takes a 10 This is basically a $500 AAA flashlight. But it looks dope. It looks so good. So it's very bright. <laughs> Not really a ton of info on it, but Micro Arcadians, I mean, it's 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 a custom. It's they're so good. That yeah, that is such a such a sick flashlight. Um I just oh god. Five hundred dollars. Is a triple A light though, and it puts out six hundred and fifty lumens. It's it is it's intense, man. It really is. It's intense. Nisha two nineteen C four thousand K. So you're kind of more of a neutral white on that. Um, I mean, they did it right. It, it's so good, but it's expensive. It's a lot. That clip looks dope. Look at that clip. That's sick. I wonder why it wants to highlight though. <laughs> Just wants to highlight the picture. Um, yeah, that thing's dope. Uh, I mean, I don't think, I don't really think there's much other websites I check. Uh, Carry Commission, eBay from time to time, uh, DLT Trading, mm, I don't think DLT does it, does flashlights, eBay sometimes, um, let's see here, try to sign me in crazy probably yeah probably a bunch of lights in phoenix this looks very very similar to pretty much all the other knife websites that carry flashlights uh mm -hmm. yeah we'll go by brand here let's see cold steel what hold on <laughs> okay yeah that's not not a flashlight um Shop by brand, Hitch and Timber. <laughs> a flashlight wallet. Uh, skin bender leather. Interesting. Olight. They do have Mech Force. Knives. <laughs> no. So there's the. Oh, dang, man. Look at that. Copper. That'd be the one right there. There's the tie versions. One, those, we saw those earlier. Stonewash Titanium 225. That's not bad. This though, this this I'd have sprung on this if it was in stock. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. I bet it's a chunk or two. Does it say the weight? Six point five ounces. No, that's not bad. I wonder if that's without the battery. It does take an eighteen three fifty. Um, sixteen sixteen tritium vial slots. Nuts. Green glow in the dark shim included. Hardened dual AR, 99 transparency. It's car code 10507. So this is this is one of those things too. I did change out the optic on the LM10. They do carry, or Jackson Lee over at JL Hawaii does carry new lenses for a lot of different lights. And um, that made a big difference. So I didn't realize the lens is so, like it's so determined or... Um, God, words. Your lens really determines like the focal point of your beam. So I switched out the lens on the LM10 and I gave it more of a um, more of a tighter beam than the like pure flood that it was. And I love it. Such a good upgrade for like ten bucks. Like seriously inexpensive. Three initial warm white two nineteen CT hmm. mounted on copper PCB. Oh god, this this flashlight, man. Ah, oh, God, if this would have been in stock. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
yeah, I'm a fan. I didn't even realize they had the stuff on DLT. That's cool. I'll have to start looking at DLT. They don't really have much, but uh, having that mech force kind of put them on my put them on my radar. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's really nothing. So, yeah, there's not there's not a ton of places for. I mean, you can you can just you know you could do a random Google search. There you go. So you got Prometheus from Dark Sucks. Um, I mean, well, Prometheus Lights, they're, they're their own entity. I don't know why. Well, maybe that's just the name of their website. Um, you could you could Google custom flashlights. I just, there's there's not a ton of flashlight websites that I go to. Um, those are like the main ones that I kind of frequent. And I'll just kind of bounce back and forth every now and then, probably a couple times a week, and just check to see what they have, what kind of deals are going on, and um, see if there's anything I have to have. Most of the time, there isn't anything I have to have, but I'll usually end up buying, like, something. Um, but for sure, JL Hawaii, probably definitely my favorite. Um, this guy, man, I usually, even if I just come here just to go to, like, his news page, which is where, you know, the home page, you can also click on it. But, um, yeah, I like to go here, and I just check to see kind of what the new arrivals are, and then... Um, you know, on his news page, he'll give you any kind of, the rewards program is awesome. Um, but he'll give you any kind of like things coming in, going out, you know, um, he's, he's man, such a good website <laughs> really is Memorial day. Missed that one. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't ship only batteries anymore. You have to buy a flashlight with your batteries, but Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this video. What was the light that I was going to buy? What? I don't even remember what website it was on. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm pretty sure it was on this website. No? I don't remember. I'll have to I'll have to remember what it was. I'll have to go back and look at it. But, uh, yeah, this was pretty much... This is, this is pretty much how I dart around and I shop for flashlights whenever I'm in the market. And, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm curious about something, I will just open up a second tab and I'll do some, I'll do some price comparisons. Like if I was in the market for this PK 12 moon box that he has listed for two thirty nine ninety nine, I would go right over here, not type in Robin hood, lumen top PK 12 moon box, and then just see what we get this can't be real ebay is a different story ebay is a ebay is definitely a different story um you never know what prices you're gonna find on there same thing with aliexpress man just mm, be careful i won't say stay away what is this was that what i was just looking at no what is this is it just yellow? Oh, it's just gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. For a second, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought I saw brass. And you know, when you see brass, probably going to be copper. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this, this thing really isn't listed anywhere else. Bang good. I don't even know what this is. This probably is not a real website. It looks like a knockoff, uh, Amazon website. It does take PayPal though. CN coming straight from China. Hmm. Via Van via Banggood priority shipping. What is this? August first through the eighth. Or you can pay thirty bucks and get it pretty quick. Hmm. Why do I feel like this is not real? You know that old saying: if it's too good to be true. That's, that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this. Some of these websites you have to be careful. It's kind of like um, like AliExpress or Timu or um, uh, DHgate. It, it's a possibility they do clone flashlights, so it's a possibility. You just gotta just gotta be careful. You you never really know what you're gonna get into um, when you order from a you know a website that you're just not sure about. Hmm. Interesting. Well. 
we won't, I don't even know how long this video has been going. We won't, we won't make it any longer. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you like this type of content, let me know. Uh, I was just taking a stab in the dark. I was, you know, I'm off work today and I was going to kind of do a little bit of looking and shopping for flashlights and thought, why not make it a social thing? So there it is social. <laughs> I'll just record myself doing it and uh, speaking out my thoughts, which I kind of, kind of do sometimes anyways, even when I'm not recording. Um, don't bake or act me. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much how I do it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you did or didn't, just let me know. Uh, I was just taking a shot in the dark, doing some, some different type of stuff. Uh, it's fun doing tabletop reviews, but, uh, you know, I try to do something a little different every now and then just to, you know, keep people's attention and doing tabletop reviews and unboxings and stuff. So eh, it's fun, but you know, it's repetitive to say the least. So, um, yeah, like I said, let me know. I'd appreciate it. And, uh, I thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate that too, as I'm still just like scrolling around looking at things. Um, so keep an eye out for some upcoming videos this week. I've got some stuff coming in. I've got some videos I need to record and, um, some things I've got some, I got some things I need to record this week that are, uh, I can't really disclose yet. But um, those will be those will be fun videos. Got some got some stuff on my plate. Well, all right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cut her off. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on the next one.